Hi, my name is Melise J. Rose, and I'd like to say hello to all the lovely readers at Lovely Books. And my book is called The Book of Lost Fragrances, and I thought I'd tell you a tiny bit of what inspired the book, and maybe inspire you to read the book. I found out that Cleopatra had a perfume factory in Egypt, and it was actually found about 20 years ago in the Israeli desert. And in ancient Egypt, fragrance was not only cosmetic, it was also religious. The word perfume means through smoke, and the way the soul went to the afterlife was on the wafting scent of incense. And Cleopatra had many perfumers who worked for her in her factory, trying to create all different kinds of perfumes, from aphrodisiacs to perfumes that might help her soul go to the heavens in her afterlife. And her perfumers kept a book of all of her fragrance formulas, her favorite ones. And that book existed. And Cicero and Pliny the Elder and other historians wrote about that book often. And the book was written about until about 600 AD. And after that, the book was never seen again. And when I read about the fact that there was a book of lost fragrances, of Cleopatra's lost fragrances, I thought, what a wonderful place to start a book. What if somebody found that book of Cleopatra's lost fragrances? And what if one of those fragrances actually helped people find their soulmates in this life or maybe even in their next life? And that's the beginning of what my book is about. And I hope you'll read an excerpt and meet Jacques L'Etoile and her brother Roby L'Etoile, who are French perfumers who live in Paris, and go on their adventure and my adventure with them. And buy a little perfume while you're reading the book. It helps to make you realize what you're reading.